painful crisis or an infection or something else, you may need to have a supply of blood which is called a transfusion. Transfusions are a critical part of the management and care of patients with sickle cell disease. The benefits of blood transfusion is to correct anemia and also to reduce the sickle hemoglobin. Transfusion, in fact, is life-saving for patients. But there are uh, side effects. All the parents, all the patients always fear um, infection. But in fact, the risk of infection is dramatically decreased since uh, viral infections are screened in blood donors. The second risk is to get alloaminization, to create antibodies against the red cell. But the main consequence really is iron overload. And as we know that by the time patients have received 20 units of blood, they have, they have uh, iron which is far more than uh, above normal. Um, we try to reduce the consequences by exchange blood transfusion in those who are on a chronic blood transfusion program. Uh, but this is not possible, of course, in very young children where venous access is uh, difficult. What did you learn from this video? Blood transfusions can help sickle cell disease patients by saving their lives, correcting anemia, reducing sickle blood cells and improving blood flow, reducing and preventing complications such as pain crisis and stroke. Possible risks of blood transfusions include infection, anemia getting worse, iron overload, following only 20 units of blood, dehydration, alloimmunization, the body's rejection of donated blood cells,